the integral of x to the power of 3 over x squared plus 5 to the power of 2 dx. Let u equal to x squared plus 5, and du over dx is equal to 2x. So du is equal to 2x dx, and dx is equal to 1 over 2x du. Now let's go ahead and change this to u form. We get x to the power of 3 over u to the power of 2, and dx is 1 over 2x du. We can cancel this out with this, and we get a 2 up here. We can also move this 2 outside of the integral. So we get 1 over 2 times the integral of x to the power of 2 over u to the power of 2 du. At this point, what is x to the power of 2? It is very simple. We know that u is equal to x squared plus 5, so x squared will be u minus 5. We get 1 over 2 times the integral of u minus 5 over u squared du. This is the same thing as 1 over 2 times the integral of u over u squared minus 5 over u squared du. Continuing on, we have 1 over 2 times the integral of 1 over u minus 5 over u to the power of 2 du. And then we split this integral apart. We get 1 over 2 times the integral of 1 over u du minus the integral of 5 over u squared du. So that's what I mean when I say split the integral apart. And you can also bring this 5 in front. We get 1 over 2 times what is the antiderivative of 1 over u du? Well, it's going to be the ln of the absolute value of u, then minus 5. First of all, I'm going to rewrite this as u to the power of negative 2. So that way, it's easier to find the antiderivative. So the antiderivative of this is what? It's going to be u to the power of negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. So this is times negative 1 over u plus c. We get 1 over 2 times the ln of the absolute value of u minus 5 times negative 1 over u. This is the same as plus 5 over u plus c. And we're almost done. So we get 1 over 2 times ln of u. And we have to change the u back to the x. So we get the ln of x squared plus 5 plus 5 over x squared plus 5 plus c. And one thing I want to mention is that x squared plus 5, that function is always above the horizontal axis. And because of this, you can get rid of the absolute value. Then we have 1 over 2 times ln of x squared plus 5 plus 1 over 2 times 5. That gives us 5 over 2 times 1 over x squared plus 5 plus 1 over 2 times c. Okay, but since c is just a constant, you don't need to write 1 over 2 times c. We can just write it as c. So that's it. This here is the answer to that integral.